everyone, this is Miss Rabab. Um, I miss all of you. Um, today we're gonna do um, science activity again, um, like we did last time with the sand, the moon sand. But today we're gonna do uh, play doh. We're gonna make our own play doh at home. For our um, activity today, we're gonna have, we're gonna need a ball, measuring cup, salt. Table, spoon, flour, and oil. First, we're going to start with flour. And we need two cups of flour. There we go. All right. There you go one cup one full cup we're gonna put it inside here and now we're gonna fill the other cup you can do it by yourself we can do it with your mom with your older sister we can help you doing it it's a fun activity to do okay one cup it says two cups uh, I mean, it says one cup, but, um, friends, so we had a cup over here, and we have another cup over there. I mentioned before, we need two cups, remember? So one and one makes two. One plus one makes two cups. We need a full cup of salt. There we go. One cup of salt. And now we're going to put it on top of flour. Now I need two teaspoons. One, two. Two teaspoons of vegetable oil. And at the end, I need to add one cup of cold water. One cup of cold water. Remember, every time you measure, you need to look at number one. One cup of cold water. And then we're going to put the water on top of it. All the ingredients inside, and then we're going to start mixing. Ah, it's so fun to mix. Oh, look. It's what? Sticky. Right. First, it feels soft before we put the water in. But when we put water with the flour and the salt, it starts getting sticky. We need to keep mixing it more and more. Can you see like Mr. Bob, what she's doing? Here we go. We need to put all the ingredients with each other. Here you go. If you feel like it's still a little bit sticky, all what you need to do, we're gonna add just a tiny bit of flour so it doesn't stick anymore to our fingers. Just in case if you feel like it needs it. So right now it's still sticking to my fingers. All what I need to do is I'm going to grab a little bit more of the flour that I had over here. Put it in my hand and then put it down and then mix. 
that's it again. There we go. The more you mix, the better it goes. If you have a food coloring at home, you can still put um, as much as you want, like try first with three drops and then um, if it needs more food coloring, you can add more with it. Here you go. Let's see how nice and soft I got. A big a giant Play-Doh. Okay. It's cushy. It's soft. I like the way. How does it feel? I'm gonna keep playing with it. I really have fun doing it and it's a homemade play-doh so you can do it every time you feel like your play-doh is not good anymore you can still do it at home you don't need to go out and buy it there we go and i can make anything i want to do with it i can roll it and look roll a long line Guess what letter I'm gonna make right now? Another long line, but I'm gonna make it as a circle right now. Did you guess what letter I'm gonna make? Oh, look! What color did I do over here? Right, it's a P. A P for Miss. Richard, you're right, but now I'm gonna get uh, add another long line to make it and a letter R. R for Mr. Bob, R for Reem, R for Reda, R for Rawan. Okay. Can you tell me what kind of letters can you make when you're done from this Play-Doh? Show me your letters and send it to me in a video. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed it.